Praise the Lord, Victory family and friends. Thank you for joining me today for our word of encouragement. Let's look at Isaiah chapter 60. I'm going to read it in the Amplified Bible. Let's start at verse 1. Arise from the depression and prostration in which circumstances have kept you. Are you lying down? Are you depressed? Are you discouraged because of circumstances? God says, get up. You know what God told Joshua? He says, arise, get up, Joshua, and go over this Jordan. And God wants you to get up. Don't let circumstances ever get you down and keep you down. You get up, rise above the beggarly elements of life. Rise above the storms of life. Rise above it in the name of Jesus. Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Now let me, let me read it. Arise from the depression and prostration in which circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new life. That's what Jesus came to give you. He came to give you a new life. He came to give you a life and give it to you more abundantly. The Bible says if you're born of God, you've overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Faith in Christ Jesus gives you a life that other people cannot have. Rise to a new life, praise God. And that's exactly what God expects his church to do, to live like you're born again, talk like you're born again, think like you're born again, live like you're born again, live like God is on your side. It's a new life. You don't have to live the way you used to live. The Bible says, come out from among them and be separate and touch not the unclean thing. It's a different life. There's a distinction between the world and the church. Rise to a new life. Shine, be radiant with the glory of the Lord, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Praise God. Father, we receive your glory. We receive the glory of the Lord. We receive the light and the glory of God upon the church in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm going to read one more verse. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and dense darkness all peoples, but the Lord shall arise upon you, and his glory shall be seen on you. I want you to expect God's glory to be manifested in you and through you. I want you to expect people to look at you and say, wow, there's something different about you. I want you to expect people to be drawn to you because of the light of God. Jesus said that you are children of light. Jesus said you're the salt of the, uh, of the earth and the light of the world through Jesus Christ. So expect, expect the anointing to flow out of you and to be seen on you. And you arise and get out of the circumstances that's been keeping you down. Rise above them in Jesus' name. God bless you today.